The Vancouver Island Marmot is the most critically endangered mammal in all of Canada. This video brought to you by the World Wildlife Fund aims to raise awareness for these cute little creatures to encourage efforts to return their populations back to its full strength. The Vancouver Island Marmot is distinctly recognizable from other species of marmots due to its unusual skull morphology and dark chocolate color fur with patches of white on its nose, belly, and top of its head. Adults typically tend to grow up to 72 centimeters and weigh around 6 kilos, however, this fluctuates greatly between summer and their hibernation season. These creatures have large beaver-like teeth, sharp claws, and strong leg muscles for digging. Like its name suggests, the Vancouver Island Marmot is endemic to Vancouver Island. The marmots are only found on five mountains in the Nanaimo Lake region and on Mount Washington. They live in subalpine me meadows, which are carved out by avalanches. As such, they generally only occur at high altitudes, around 1,500 meters above sea level. These meadows contain three environmental elements which the marmots crave, which are suitable soil for building burrows, appropriate vegetation for food such as oak grasses, sedges, and forbs, and lastly, microclimatic conditions that allow for summer foraging and winter hibernation. The Vancouver Island Marbot lives in colonies made up of their families, thus having a clumped population distribution. The marmots become sexually mature at the age of two and mate during the spring. When a female is pregnant, a gestation during takes only 32 days and the female can give birth to a litter of 1-7 to seven babies. The babies are kept in the burrow for the beginning of their lives for shelter against predators. The burrow is also used for a hibernation season during winter which lasts over 210 days. These small creatures share their environment with a multitude of other species which pose no threat and unfortunately a small few which are decimating their population due to predation. The Vancouver Island Marmot peacefully interacts with deer, elk, and other herbivores in the native BC area. The predators that the marmot faces include cougars, wolves, and golden eagles. The predation is the greatest threat to survival of this marmot species, as it accounts for 75% of marmot fatalities. Sadly, it appears that the threat is only getting worse due to, to the rising cougar and wolf populations on Vancouver Island. Humans have played a detrimental role by interfering with the marmot's natural habitat, which has landed them on the endangered list. Starting in the 1940s, humans began clear-cutting forests located closely to the marmot's homes. By destroying the vegetation with which the marmots used for camouflage, they became more susceptible to predators. This led to the rate of marmots that were killed by predation to skyrocket, which has plunged their populations to only a scarce field. In fact, 10 colonies, which were situated near clear-cut sites became extinct by the year 2000. It is this combination of immense predation and human interference which has brought the Vancouver Island Marmot to the edge of extinction. The population of the marmots plummeted from 350 in the 1970s to its lowest point of 30 wild marmots recorded in 2003. In fact, the largest colony of Vancouver Island Marmots, located at Butler Peak, with a population of 39, was decimated to only 15 within a year. Thankfully, researchers intervened and prevented the extinction of the Vancouver Island Marmot by capturing them from the wild and sending them to breeding centers to have as many children as possible to increase the population size. As a result of eight years of reintroductions, over 370 marmots have been released on over 28 mountains on Vancouver Island as of 2016. The Vancouver Island Marmot is not in the clear yet though, as scientists believe that an additional 230 marmots are needed to achieve the minimal uh, viable population size. Currently, there are two marmot habitats that are protected under the British Columbia Ecological Reserve Act, those being the Haley Lake Ecological Reserve and the Green Mountain Wildlife Critical Habitat Area. The reason why such effort is devoted to save the marmot from extinction is because they are one of a few endemic mammals in Canada and have become a local celebrity in British Columbia. The Vancouver Island Marmot has appeared as one of the mascots for the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics and even inspired the Victoria Royals, a WHL hockey team, to make the Vancouver Island Marmot its team's mascot. Protecting this little creature also benefits other animals in the ecosystem as well, as the reserves that have been set up for the marmot also protect other delicate wildlife in the environment. Now looking forward, the future of the Vancouver Island Marmot appears to be bright. If we continue to care for this creature, it will once again thrive in its natural habitat. Thank you for taking time to watch this video, and if you would like to help out, you can donate to the Marmot Recovery Foundation and find out more interesting info on the Vancouver Island Marmot.